Hey everyone, how's it going? I got my first two uh, new Rupes cordless polishers. This is the HLR 15, um, brand new. Uh, I haven't even opened the box. I haven't even seen what's inside. So come open it with me. Okay, so we're gonna be putting this uh, to use today. And we do have a polishing job today. So I'm gonna open it up for the first time. We'll see uh, what all is inside here. and uh, Kind of give you an idea of what it comes with. So this is the kit. So on the pre-orders, Rupes only offered the kit. So it's gonna come with some DA Coarse, some DA Fine, um, and it's gonna come with some pads. Here's a, it comes with a little microfiber towel. They got wool polishing pads, medium wool polishing pads. We've got two DA coarse wool polishing pads. Some of the new intermediate high performance pads. I don't even think I've tried these yet, so we're gonna try these out. And then DA fine uh, polishing pads, the foam ones. So we have a lot of these products already, but you know, it came with the kit. Of course, we got batteries. Comes with a little protector, so we'll take those off. Now, while I'm opening this up, I'll just mention that talking to the Rupes uh, reps and seeing the polishers, because it's newer technology, these 18 volts uh, polishers, they're actually more powerful than the Rupes uh, corded polishers, which is pretty, pretty crazy. <coughs> All right, we have the charger here. And it's a dual charge. It's a dual charger, which is good. So you know, also if you wanted to buy, say, like an extra battery, and you've got one in the polisher, uh, and you got, you know, two on the charger, you'll never run out. And so it comes, you know, it's just like any other electronics. It's not completely charged, like halfway charged. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug this in in a minute. I have, I'm getting ready to switch out my. Flex cordless polishers. I got seven of those, and I have a nifty little DIY um, charger mount over there. So I'm going to be switching over here eventually, but for now, they're just going to be sitting on a table. All right. Finally, the moment I've been waiting for. I pre-ordered these back in November. Now I got two of my HLR 15s in yesterday and I'm still waiting on the HLR 21, the, the six inch polisher, uh, but I'm pretty happy just to receive the 15s. Um, I do have the flex and you know, I don't usually talk poorly about products. I don't think that the Flex is a, is a poor product, uh, but I do think it's a little bit less powerful. So these, I believe, are going to be much more powerful than the Flex from, from what I've been seeing. So it's a pretty, pretty compact machine. I mean, granted, I, you know, I haven't put the battery on, um, but it's still a pretty compact machine. Uh, the, the flex feels a little bit bulkier, I can tell you that, just my initial impression. So, so one thing is, you know, and I've seen people complaining about this, so we'll see, you know, if it bothers me or not, is that, you know, you, you can't just pull the trigger, which is cool in a way, because it's, it's a safety, you don't, bump it and you don't get stuff everywhere like the HLR 75. Um, but this one you'll have to depress the button to be able to depress the, tr the trigger. So you have to like push this safety and then depress. 
and then the controls are back here. So, so you know, if we're polishing on, say, three, and it lights up the side, which is kind of cool. So it does seem like, you know, you're going to need to hold in the trigger to maintain the depression on the button. Oh, no, okay. So it will stick if you push it all the way in, and then when you do it, it'll release that. So we want to go all the way in. We can then do that. So that's good. I was worried for a second that we would have to depress the trigger the whole time, which is not something I, I'm particularly fond of. I'll tell you what, um, initial thought is this is a pretty, this is a really nice compact machine. I'm not going to lie. Um, not just saying that I don't get paid to make any videos really uh, that are on my channel for things like this. Um, and so I have no reason to, to make any, anything up. But this is definitely a nice little compact machine. I'm looking forward to uh, giving this a whirl. Um, I'm going to be using it today, so I'm not going to publish this video, obviously, until I complete that job today. So we're going to show you, you know, the unboxing, and you've seen probably a lot of reviews on this. You've seen probably like a lot of people, you know, hands-on first polish and stuff like that. Um, but I'm actually going to use it today uh, to work. I think we got a Dodge Ram in, so I'm going to be working on that today with this, and you know. I'll give you some impressions on my first use with it, um, you know, before, during, and after I actually get started on that job. So um, thanks for checking this out. And, you know, just in a couple seconds, it's going to fast forward a couple hours in the video and show you me working on the ramp. Okay, so what do I think about the new Rupes polisher? Well, um, I think it's incredibly smooth. It feels very precise. It's very easy to use one-handed if need be. Um, I don't have too many complaints. I do wish that um, you didn't have to like unlock the trigger. I wish you could just press the trigger and then lock it into place. That's kind of how the flex is. Um, I do like that better than having the trigger lock necessarily. Um, someday somebody probably come out with a modification for that, who knows. Um, I feel like it's a lot more powerful than my Flex, which gives me uh, more correction ability. I was previously using my 3-inch PXE80 uh, way too much uh, on a car, and this is uh, 5. It feels smaller than my Flex overall. Um, the battery is a little stiff to get in and out, but I think that's going to loosen up with time. I don't think that's a big deal. Um, it's quieter. It's smoother. Um, I really like it. I got two of them now and we're just waiting on our six inch. So this Dodge Ram looks amazing and it was super easy to use using the new Rupes Hybrid HLR15. So if you like it, check it out. There's links in my description uh, if you can find it in stock anywhere. And uh, we look forward to trying out the six inch, hopefully in the next couple of weeks.